I am very excited because I would contend that this is actually probably the coolest April Fool's joke I have actually ever seen. Band Maiko, I hope I said that correctly, the song Jun Cho, um, I'm very, very, very excited about it. It's like band made with a totally different aesthetic and a much more, uh, you know, culturally significant sound to Japan um, while still being band made sounding so I loved what I saw before um, before I hit the play button uh, I do have a band made playlist feel free to check that out I'm reacting to a ton of their content because I'm low key and high key obsessed with what they're doing team drummer uh, guys I love you so much before I hit the play button it's very important to me that you know that you are awesome you are valuable you are important, you matter, you're deserving of love, and I'm so thankful for even a moment of your time. If you like what you see, feel free to hit the like and the subscribe button. It goes a long way to help me out if you really like what you see. Feel free to do the thing where you hang out with us on Twitch. Those people over there are the best. They just want you to know that uh, you matter and that you have good taste in music. Guys, band Maiko. Man, I really hope I'm saying this right. Uh, or Mako. I don't know. Uh, Jincho. Let's go. I really love the new aesthetic, or the, the different aesthetic. Immediately, I already really, really, really like this one. This has already been one of my favorite band-made recordings. Cause it's so hard to beat their live sound, right? But this one, the way it started off, the vocals, especially this whole scene here, looks so badass. Like, I don't know that I've ever actually seen buildings like this, let alone with rock equipment set up outside. Like, this makes me abundantly happy. <laughs> They're, they're also incredibly beautiful, like they're all incredibly beautiful and, and their outfits really accentuate that. <laughs> Gioncho. So there's a few things I noticed. Uh, I, if you listen, there seems to be like a like a like a wind instrument there, and I think it's a Japanese wind wind instrument or a Japanese type of instrument. It sounds like a very high pitched flute, but I don't n quite know, and I don't think it's a piccolo, so I don't quite know what that sound is. But are you hearing that? <laughs> Team drummer. That drum breakdown was fucking beautiful. <laughs>
This reminds me of a lot of music I was listening to from like 2006 to 2011, right? Like it's got some of that, um, it kind of reminds me of like a little bit of like Taking Back Sunday instrumentation, but like obviously with band made, so like dramatically better instrumentalists. Um, I think Misa is really carrying the bass line. Uh, I think that has maybe been my, my favorite part of the song, uh, has been the bass work here. Um, like just the the stuff that they've been doing. <laughs> Listen to this bass line right here in this drum and bass breakdown. I really loved this. I genuinely think this might have been my favorite piece of work that I've heard band made do. Um, as far as their recording stuff, that was bitchin'. That was Super Saiyan Mega bitchin'. I loved Jian Cho. Like, that one's getting a, an immediate, like, I think that there's such a cool thing with their costuming here, but more than that, I. I I would absolutely listen to Bandmade regardless of what their aesthetic is at this point because I just think that they're very credible musicians. I think they're super, super, super good. Not to mention, again, like when you look at the, like their outfits here, right? Like they all really pop. They all seem to have huge significance. I would like to know kind of what the lyrics uh, mean to them here because I kind of got the feeling that they were commenting on their appearance. So if anybody uh, would wouldn't uh, care to in the comments will you give me kind of the backstory to what uh what i just watched here uh i love this guys thank you so much i'm going to continue to react to both band made and band myco because like, it's it's fantastic um there's a lot happening in this too with the japanese instrumentation as well as the regular instruments i felt like we had a super chugging bass line uh you know we didn't get the same kind of guitar solo that we normally do but i also think that uh you know we got a lot more out of a lot of the other instrumentalists in the band i felt like especially the the rhythm guitar player like i heard her have a much more focused singing part um and again, Misa is Misa. So, guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for the positivity show both to me and to one another. Continue to be the best. Uh, give me your favorite band, Maiko, songs. Uh, and further suggestions for uh, where I should go next with these guys. I love you. Talk to you later. Bye.